You would think that Massachusetts is so expensive, right? Think again, there are some very affordable places in Massachusetts. In this video, I'm gonna talk about 10 very affordable places that will really surprise you. And make sure to stay until the end because I'm gonna give you a couple of bonus places. My name is Nune, I'm a real estate agent in Boston and the surrounding areas. If you're thinking of buying or selling in Massachusetts, please reach out to me, I would love to help. In this video, I also have the high school rankings, which a lot of people find very useful, but I didn't include any safety or crime statistics. For that, I would encourage you to reach out to the police department in those places, in the towns and cities. Number one on my list is North Adams. North Adams is on the border of New Hampshire in the north of Berkshires. Median home sale price is 198,500. Now, all the numbers are very recent. I just looked them up on MLS. So these are real numbers from the last week. What's interesting in North Adams is you don't feel like you are in this very cheap place. It actually has a lot of artistic vibe because a lot of artistic and cultural institutions are in North Adams and there are a lot of professional artists living here. There is Massachusetts College of Liberal Arts, which is ranked as one of 2023 top 10 colleges by US News and World Report. There is Clark Art Institute and many other cultural events. Also, you have the natural beauty of Berkshire County with its majestic mountain ranges and the hiking trails and natural splendor. The residents earn a median income of 49,123. The closest large city is Pittsburgh, which is 45 minutes away. The next large city is actually Albany, New York, which is one hour and 15 minutes away. I would say 99% of the towns and cities that I have on my list don't have a very strong nightlife. A few restaurants in North Adams, a movie theater, and the shopping options are limited as well. Drury High School is 250 in Massachusetts according to US News and High School rankings. Graduation rate is 78%. Number two on my list is Palmer Town, Massachusetts. Palmer is a very nice, calm, and quiet town. Palmer residents pay a median price of 286,500. Household income is 57,022. Palmer is located in the south central part of Massachusetts. It's about 36 miles to Worcester, the second largest city in Massachusetts, and about 19 miles to Springfield. Population is about 12,236. There is only one grocery store in town, but it's about five miles to Super Walmart and other shopping areas. Route 20 runs through the town with several restaurants. It is pretty close to Connecticut border. There are many hiking trails and natural scenes close by. Third on my list is Holyoke. Holyoke is located eight miles from Springfield and it's part of the Springfield metropolitan area. The historical Holyoke is a lot of, there's a lot of things to do here, lots of activities. It has gotten some bad reputation, but it's on the upswing of things. Things are improving. Holyoke has a very strong sense of community and lots of beautiful trails close by. Every St. Patrick's holiday there is a parade. The Children's Museum of Holyoke, the merry-go-round are wonderful places for families to spend time. Holyoke population is about 38,000. Holyoke High School is ranked 303rd by US News High School rankings. Graduation rate is 80%. Math proficiency is 18% and reading 27%. Number four is Ludlow. With a population of 21,000, Ludlow is a very nice town to live in. It has pretty good schools, probably the best schools in the area. Ludlow High School is 153rd in Massachusetts according to US News High School rankings. It has an astonishing 95% graduation rate. Ludlow is also considered part of the Springfield metropolitan area. This is another quiet and calm town. Ludlow's median price is 295,000. Household income though is much higher, 73,000. So it is a pretty affordable place to live in. Number five is Pittsfield. Pittsfield is the largest city in the Berkshire County. It is located near the New York border. Pittsfield used to have major industries in 1980s. 
Many of the residents of Pittsfield are retirees from that time, General Electric time. The median sale price is $275,000. Residents earn an income of 56620 This is where Boston Symphony Orchestra has its summer home. Many of the homes in Pittsfield are registered at the National Registry of Historic Places. As of 2000, Pittsfield had 46,000 people. Pittsfield has such attractions as the Berkshire Museum, art exhibits, and the Colonial Theatre. Are you a fan of classical literature? Visit Herman Melville's Arrowhead the house where he wrote Moby Dick. Pittsfield High School is 181st in Massachusetts. Number six is Chicopee. Chicopee is the second largest city after Springfield. It has a population of about 56,000. Located just north of Springfield, Chicopee has a median sale price of 278,000 and a median income of 48,866. There are a lot of free activities you can do in Chicopee, lots of hiking trails. Chicopee has three high schools. One of them is not ranked at US News high school rankings, but the other two, Chicopee High School is 249th in Massachusetts and Chicopee Comprehensive High School is 199th. Everyone knows everyone in Chicopee and it has a lot of mom and pop stores. On warm days, you can visit Chicopee Memorial State Park to hike or bike. Chicopee median income is 48,000. Number seven is Athol. Athol is close to big cities where you can shop like Lemonster and Fitchburg, and they have a lot of job opportunities as well. It's a small, beautiful town that is bordering the tax-free New Hampshire, where you can do all your shopping. <laughs> there are many buildings that have been vacant for many years, but it's an up and coming town. Athol High School is 280th in Massachusetts. Number eight is Agawan Town. Agawan is one of the 13 municipalities that have asked to have a city government but still are legally known as towns. Agawan sits at the western side of Connecticut River, directly across from Springfield, Massachusetts. It is considered part of Springfield metropolitan area. Agawam's median sale price is 325000 which is higher than most of the towns on my list, but because the resident's income is higher, 61919 it's still a pretty affordable place to live. If you need another reason to live in Agawam, remember that Six Flags New England is here and that will mean a lot of friends and family coming to visit you all year round if you want it or not. And Agawam zip code 01001 is the lowest in the United States. Agawam High School is ranked pretty high, it's 188th in Massachusetts. Graduation rate is an astonishing 95% and math and reading proficiency is 61%. Parks and recreation areas are well maintained. Number 9 on my list is Southbridge. Southbridge population is 17,740. It has a city form of government but is legally known as a town. It is located in Worcester County. Southbridge median sale price is 325,000 and household income is 50,202. Southbridge High School is not ranked very high. It's between 307 and 340. Graduation rate is only 37%. This is another town where a major employer has closed doors in 1980s and a lot of things have changed since. Another very small town and everybody knows each other. Main Street in Southbridge is very pretty. It is about 39 miles from Springfield and 20 miles from Worcester. It is on the Connecticut border. And number 10 on my list is Westfield. Westfield is located just west of Springfield. It has a median sale price of 330000 and income of 62,212. Westfield has a population of about 41,000. Westfield High School is ranked 253rd. Graduation rate is 95%. Westfield is a very nice town to raise a family. There are music and theater events throughout the year. The Columbia Bike Trail and Stanley Park are really the highlights of Westfield. And now here are the bonus towns. They're not on the top 10 affordable list, but they're pretty inexpensive and might be a very good choice for you. Gardner has a median sale price of 325,000. Household income is 48,915. Gardner High School is 255th in Massachusetts. 
Next bonus town is Attleboro. Attleboro is 42 miles from Boston. It's more in the south. Attleboro's median home price is $467,000, but the household income is $70,000. Attleboro was once known as the jewelry capital of the world because it had so many jewelry manufacturers. Attleboro High School is 167th in Massachusetts. And the third bonus town is Fitchburg, Massachusetts. Fitchburg is located 30 miles from Lowell. Fitchburg's median home sale price is $339,000. The household median income is 51,000. Fitchburg High School is 207th. Graduation rate is an astonishing 98%. Even though the math proficiency is 40% and the reading is 41%. By the way, if you want to compare it to another town in Massachusetts with better schools, I have to tell you about Lexington. Graduation rate 99%. Math. 96% and reading 92% in Lexington High School. But of course, it is one of the top 10 most expensive towns in Massachusetts. Watch my video about Lexington and also about other affordable towns that have excellent public schools.